This tech tip is on share settings in Google Workspace. We will begin to explore the share options by pressing share. Alrighty, you can change the share settings at any time. However, a best practice is just to do it first so that you don't forget. Usually, whenever I'm filling out a form, I usually do so from top to bottom. So that's a good way to look at it here. Let's start at the top. It's a little settings gear and it gives you options. The first option says editors can change permissions and share. So you get to choose if you want your editors to do that or if you don't, you turn it off. Okay. The other one is viewers and commenters can see the option to download, print, and copy. So if you want to allow your viewers to be able to download, print, and copy, you leave this on. If you don't want them to be able to do that, it can be here. That would be like a read-only document. Okay? So you'll go back, and then this is where you will put the email of the person that you'd like to share with. Didn't mean to do that. And then here, you have some more settings to where if you're sharing your link, who is going to be able to use the link? Will it be people who just were on EBR? Will it be a restricted document or will it be anyone with the link? A lot of times I like to just do anyone with the link. So if I share a link to anybody, if they're using their personal email address, they can still use it. That's why sometimes when you guys are trying to complete a document or access something, it tells you you need permissions first. So a good practice, if it's something that's not, you know, personal, you can just send it to anyone with the link. Therefore, whoever has the link, they are able to see it. And these are our share settings for Google Workspace.